I'm very excited because Chloe's new high chair has arrived. I ordered it from West Coast Kids. I love that store. It's um, only in Canada, so it kind of sucks. But um, yeah, very cute children or children and baby store. So you can buy all of your um, stroller, car seat, like all your gear basically there. And they also have clothes and like just like they have everything anyway. Love going there. Um, but I ordered her um, high chair online and took a little bit to get here but it is here and I'm going to unbox it and put it together. Also in case you're wondering which one I picked up I did get the Stoki Stoka Trip Trap high chair um, and the combo I got is probably more the non-traditional color but it is the walnut brown so really excited to um, put this together. I gotta say, this is a free screwdriver that we got from a Nest purchase and it's pretty handy. It's dual ended actually. Oh my god. So the trip trap, first of all, um, as you can see, it doesn't come in any special packaging and it also didn't require a signature and it was just left on our front porch. Luckily, COVID times, we're home anyway, so we were able to bring it inside. But yeah, um, I can see how this might be enticing to parcel stealers because they know exactly what it is. So it has come in a few different pieces. So we have the actual, you can actually buy everything separately, but I have got like the complete set. So everything comes in one box. It's just a little bit easier. And I think you save a little bit money that way. Um, so you have the actual high chair. And then this is like the baby set, which is like the harness and um, this front piece. And there's also the cushion and the tray. So um, ultimately, like the Stokey trip trap chair is for um, assisting the baby to like sit at the table. Um, so you do have to, if you just buy the chair, you can just buy the chair, you can buy this separately, you can buy the um, uh, tray separately. Um, and you, sometimes some people don't even buy the tray at all, they just kind of push the chair to the table. We are going to use the tray for a little bit as she is learning the whole baby led feeding thing, which we've started with her and she's actually been doing pretty well with it. Our table is very porous. So, um, like certain play mats or place mats for babies just don't quite sit on it right. Um, at least, you know how they, they have the suction ones that, um, suction to your table and they don't move. That doesn't work on our table because it's too porous for that. So we figure we'll get, we're going to use a tray for now. And then once she can use just like a regular old place mat and bowls and utensils, we'll just scooch her up to the table. You do not need a screwdriver for this. It comes with its own little hex key. Okay, I have it partially built. Um, I just have to put on um, like the accessories on it. So I have like the harness and then also the classic cushion. I did make the mistake of tightening all of the screws on the side before I had put the seat and the foot rest on so i had to go back and loosen it a little bit so i could actually fit these slats through okay here is the final look at the stokey stoka trip trap um yeah really easy to put together chloe probably doesn't need this um but uh it came with the set so it's nice and comfy it's just you know added cushion and um yeah this snaps on really well a little bit tricky to get off at first but once you kind of figure it out it's good and yeah, I love the color. So it, like I said, it's like the dark walnut and I think it looks really good. The popular color, as you guys know, is the natural one, which is like the light wood, but um, I really like the look of the dark wood. I don't even know where we left off in this vlog, but it is the second day of Amazon Prime Day and I just got my order that I placed yesterday. I got really boring things. I got a Wi-Fi dimmer switch for our under cabinet lighting. 
and I also picked up this, which is exciting. This is the Amazon Amazon Alexa Echo Flex. As you guys know, we are an Amazon Alexa family. Um, we use it. We have a smart home basically, like from our front door to um, our lights. Everything is pretty much automated. But they came out with this, I think last year, earlier this year, and it's basically like a well, it's the cheapest Alexa you can buy and obviously it's like it just plugs in so it doesn't have like a fancy speaker so it doesn't have a good uh, speaker so it's not something you get to play audio on but the reason i got this is because we don't want an alexa device in our or an echo i guess device in our kitchen one we kind of want to reserve our counter space for things that really belong in the kitchen um, so this is perfect because one it's off the counter and two it does exactly what we will need it to do which is to control like automation in our home basically so to turn lights on and off to set timers things like that we're not going to use it to listen to music like we never really listen to music in our kitchen plus there's a um, alexa device in the very next room so if we wanted to listen to music we could just turn that on i'm excited for this i'm just going to set it up right now it also has like a usb on the bottom i have to turn this fan on because i'm making food for chloe so hopefully you can still hear me um but yeah chloe has started solids and so we give her a little bit of everything um she's been on solids for like a month and a half now almost two months now um but one other thing is pasta and she has such small portions that i really only make pasta just for her <laughs> But if you ever make pasta, you'll know that it always tends to like bubble over. Anyway, so I googled what can I do to prevent that from happening, and I'll show you the most successful one. So in case you're wondering if the wooden spoon, or in my case chopstick, trick works to prevent your noodles from overflowing, it apparently does. Okay, Chloe is currently having some independent playtime before her nap, which is in about 5-10 minutes. So I wanted to show you guys what I got from H&M because it just got delivered. It took three and a half weeks to get delivered, um, which is unfortunate because there's actually one item that I have to return because I'll show, I'll talk about it when I get to it. But I got two things for me. I wanted to get um, a black turtleneck just because I have a cashmere one, but it's so tight on me. <laughs> it does not want to fit. Um, and I didn't want to invest in a new cashmere one until I probably like lose some of the baby weight. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see where I am kind of nearing the end of the year um, weight wise. But I wanted just to have one because I think a black turtleneck is like an essential piece of my wardrobe, um, especially in like the fall and the winter. This one is a polyester cotton blend, I think from H&M and yeah it's not very thick it's um kind of a lightweight knit the other thing i picked up is actually a shirt i already own <laughs> but i got a hole in it i think um because i usually tuck my shirt in to like the front of my jeans and i think um the shirt got stuck in like the zipper when i went to like zip up my jeans anyway i got a hole a couple holes little tiny holes at the front i still wear it um, because usually when I tuck my shirt in, you can't see the holes anyway. I really like the shirt, even though it's so basic and plain. It's this guy here. So it's just like a, what, off-white, a crew base with, I can't tell if this is black or navy. I feel like it's navy stripes. Um, but yeah, it's like really basic, but I just, I liked it and I wanted to get another one. Oh, I actually also got another t-shirt for me. I forgot I ordered that one, um, which is basically just the white version of the striped shirt. I don't think you can ever have too many white t-shirts, at least in my case. So yeah, I like this fit too because it's um, not super tight. It's it's not overly loose, but it's not super tight. So it's just like the perfect boxy um, t-shirt. So I got Chloe three things to add to her um, fall, early winter wardrobe. I don't know if I showed you guys the other items I picked up for her, but in case I didn't, I'll talk about them later. I have to go through the archive of video footage that I've taken because I don't have my laptop still. Um, it's been three weeks, going on the third week, or is it going on the fourth week? I think it's going on the fourth week today because I dropped it off 
I think mm, three Mondays ago. So it's going on the fourth week of not having it. So making videos is a little bit harder because um, I can make them on, on, my la on my iPad, but I just haven't gotten around to it. It's a lot easier on the laptop. So one of the items I got from Chloe is this cute little duo, which is polka dot. It's not really a polka dot. They almost look like little like brush strokes. Um, but it's like a dotted dress in like a neutral with a neutral background and then the black spots and then little black tights which I think is going to look so cute on her and then I got her um, a three pack of just like plain white long sleeves now that she's a bit bigger she sits on her own she crawls um, we haven't been putting her in as many like onesies one because it's a lot harder to check her diaper <laughs> to see if it needs to get changed and two I don't know it's just yeah she looks really cute in like the two-piece outfits now so um, I got like a three pack of just plain white shirts because they're really easy um, and yeah, they go with like all of our bottoms. So this next item is the one I actually am going to return because when I was looking for like a, not a winter jacket for like being out in the snow, but kind of like that fall winter transition jacket. This is like the only one that I saw that I liked. Um, I liked the style of it and I thought the colorway was cute, but they, it turns out they had a different colorway that came in stock like two weeks after I ordered this. So I actually placed an other order for that one. So this is the one I'm going to return. I just love it. It's like a cute little parka with like the hoodie and it has a fleece lining. And um, yeah, this is six to eight or six to nine months, um, which is kind of like her sweet spot right now. So definitely need a new jacket for when it's like actually winter. Um, but for like the transition months, this is good. But the one I got is this style, but in a different colorway. It's more of like a, a neutral, a brown camel color. I think I like the other color a little bit more, but it'll probably take another four weeks to get here. It is Chloe's first time going to the dentist today. <laughs> She's kind of grumpy because it's uh, right at the beginning of her nap time. I am currently waiting in front of Jump to pick up my laptop it's finally ready it's been a little over four weeks so in the last clip i showed you guys a little haul from h&m and it's been a couple weeks since then and i finally got the coat for chloe that i purchased instead of the color way that i showed you guys in the last clip i kind of want to make chloe like a little rack for her clothes and just have it like in the hallway here because her coats are so cute, first of all, um, but they she's obviously not anywhere where she can reach. It's so high up. And um, yeah, anyway, if you guys know any place where you can buy one, let me know. If not, maybe I'll just like make one. Um, but this is it. I love this colorway. Um, so the one that I first got was the green. And I love the green, but I feel like this goes a little bit more with the rest of her clothes it has this like faux fur trim and this hood is removable and it's fleece lined she's only worn it once it has actually already snowed yesterday was the first snowfall of the year so she wore it once and it's still a little bit big for her especially in the arms um something she can grow into a little bit and it's definitely more of like a fall piece it's not a winter piece because um i don't think it's thick enough for that so uh, I still have to pick up um, like a proper winter coat for her, like a downfilled one. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was so cute. And I love this like cute little mini hanger. Anyway, baby clothes, super cute, right? <laughs> this is um, six to nine months at H&M. And Chloe's about eight months, a little over eight months. And she's 20-ish uh, pounds. So it's still a little bit roomy. She can wear a sweater underneath and there's still a little bit room for growth. I'm also currently uh, making Chloe some lunch. I have to say, making food for babies is hard work. I mean, it's not really hard work, but it's just, I want to have, obviously, to have, for her to have a well-balanced diet. So, you know, your protein and your veg and um, your fruit and all that kind of stuff. But it's, she, she can feed herself a little bit. Like we're doing this baby led feeding. So she is getting better at like picking up food and chewing it, but it takes her forever to eat. So 
you know, sometimes she'll be eating for like 45 minutes and um, in the middle of the day, like after her first nap and before her second nap, she's only awake for two hours and she has to have lunch in the middle. So I don't want her to spend like 45 minutes to an hour eating during like a two hour awake time. <laughs> Just trying to find food for her to eat that's easy, um, that's quick for her, but still nutritious is, yeah, a struggle. Uh, struggle really correct word i can't think of a better word other than that so let's just go with struggle i did pick up this book which is baby led feeding um and it has some like good recipes in there but yeah she still hasn't quite mastered the whole feeding herself thing and she can't use utensils so we do use a combination of you know solids like non-pureed foods and then also pureed foods because um yeah, she still hasn't quite mastered using a spoon. We even bought these uh, specially designed spoons for her so that she can learn how to use a spoon, but she has this bad habit of dipping the spoon into food and then flinging it around. Just in general, she loves to throw food on the floor. She is definitely getting better at eating, but she still has some like bad habits sometimes. <laughs> even though I tell her not to do it, she's uh, not that great of a listener yet. <laughs> And babies are so weird too. I mean, I have made some really weird concoctions and she's loved them. And then things like uh, chickpeas, which seem very ordinary, she does not like. I think it's just the texture maybe, but I don't know. So trying to find a good balance of nutritious food that she'll eat and that she can eat easily is a bit of a struggle. So it is Chloe's lunch time and I'll show you guys what she's having. So this is her food. I don't put it on her tray mainly cause she, her favorite thing is just to like throw food on the ground. So she's not quite there yet. Um, if there, there wasn't any um, purees, I probably would just leave it. But because it's a mixture, I just am feeding her um, her food on her tray. Um, but yeah, so we have sweet potato puree, some avocado, this is whole grain noodles and some tofu. She does a pretty good job um, eating her food. Usually she won't throw it, but sometimes she does. Her favorite is the noodles. I mean, everyone's favorite is carbs, right? She's getting distracted by the camera. Is he yummy? You eat your tofu. You want some more noodles? Mmm, yummy tofu. She's also gotten very good at drinking out of a straw. So we skipped the whole sippy cup and just went straight for the straw. And at first she would just gnaw on it. And um, she doesn't obviously drink this much water. I just kind of fill it up and let her take a few sips throughout the day. Um, but now she'll take her sips and then when she doesn't want to drink anymore, she'll just stop. Um, but yeah, so we skipped the sippy cup, but didn't move straight into like the open cup, but we kind of just landed somewhere in the middle, which is a straw. She's okay at drinking from an open cup, but it's a, definitely a little bit more messy than the straw. Chloe's down for her second nap. And while she's napping, I'm in the process of uh, baby proofing our home. So we got this gate. I think I might have shown it previously if not we have a gate to keep uh, chloe contained because she is a crawler now um she is a very fast crawler she um will just like sprint off and into anything <laughs> especially these drawers or these cabinets so we actually picked up well i saw an instagram ad for these magnetic um, baby locks and i thought that would be perfect because i've always hated the look of um, the locks that kind of like go over the doors and all that stuff. We just um, renovated our kitchen, well, it'll be almost a year now. And I didn't want to ruin the doors with like straps and plastic bits and bobs. So I saw an Instagram ad for these magnetic um, locks that go in the cabinet and then you have like a little magnet and then it unlocks it. And I was originally gonna purchase from that website but when I went on the website, first of all, free shipping was like $100. And to get to $100, you'd have to buy something like 40 locks. And I didn't need 40 locks. <laughs> so needless to say, I didn't go with them. 
um, instead I picked one up on Amazon, but it works just as well. So I finished just um, sticking them on to the inside of the cabinet doors. So this is um, what it looks like. And yeah, it's just like a neat magnet. So it's really convenient too, because you don't have to screw into your cabinet doors. You can if you want to, but it's um, actually stuck on. And the adhesive is actually relatively strong, so I'm not concerned um, that uh, it's gonna come off or anything. I mean, I tried tugging on the door at probably like 75% strength and it wouldn't budge. So I don't imagine that uh, Chloe's gonna be able to rip these off. Anyway, it's magnetic and it comes with these keys. And you just have to kind of find the lock through the other side of the door and then it unlocks it. So this is her favorite cabinet to pull onto and she actually can, if these were unlocked, she actually can pull these open and then rummage through everything that's inside. And this is kind of our miscellaneous uh, cabinet. So this is where our coffee corner is. And then inside is just like a bunch of random things like tape, screwdrivers, extra light bulbs, um, super glue all that kind of stuff. Um, we also have like our surplus of products like oil and vinegar and hot chocolate and actually Debo keeps some um, cans of beer in here <laughs> that we can't fit in the fridge. Anyway, I love this child lock. Um, it's really easy and convenient. I also, when we were at Ikea a few weeks ago, we got these um, outlet covers, which are, I mean, outlet covers are outlet covers, right? So they just, they do the job and that's it. Our outlets are actually um, tamper proof, but I mean, you, I still, I'm still kind of nervous about her, like the sticking things in there. Although, yeah, they are technically tamper proof, which is evident because even when I'm trying to plug things in, you kind of have to wiggle the, the prongs a little bit to get them in. So the other thing I'm doing to kind of childproof our home is I purchased these leather pulls from Amazon. Um, so I got these to replace the um, knobs on the dresser in Chloe's room and also the nightstand in Chloe's room because they're, they're just your average knob, but they are, they kind of have a sharp edge to them. And now that Chloe is um, lifting herself up to stand on basically anything. That's why we had to um, get the locks for the doors because she'll actually not only pull these open, but she'll also use the handles to like stand herself up. And I was kind of worried she would fall back and you know hurt, hurt herself. I noticed that she also likes to pull herself up on the dresser in her room, which is fine because it's it's bolted to the wall anyway. But I'm concerned that she might like slip and fall and then hit her face on the knobs. And also just kind of when she's crawling around, sometimes she's just not paying attention and sometimes she'll just, you know, just like face plant into things and I'm, I'm worried she'll face plant into these knobs. So I wanted to get a handle or a knob that is a little bit softer. I originally saw a version of these leather pulls at Ikea. That's kind of what gave me the idea. And Ikea does sell them. They're, you can get a two pack for 15 bucks, but I needed eight. So, you know, 60 bucks for pull, leather pulls. I just feel like I could have gotten a better deal elsewhere. So I did end up finding some on Amazon. Plus I really like this hardware. It's like a brushed nickel as opposed to the Ikea one, which is gold. I really personally like the gold, but I wanted something for Chloe's room that might age a little bit better and is a little bit more neutral because nothing else in Chloe's room is gold. So I didn't want her, the knobs just to kind of stand out like that. Um, but yeah, these are great. I got them from amazon.com and I think it's a 12 pack for, I think I paid like $40, I think. And I'm gonna install them later today. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So it comes with the hardware and the pull and the screw to go into obviously the, the dresser. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna replace the knobs on the dresser, which is the Hemnes dresser, and then the side table, which is the Hem Hemnes, Hemnes side table. So yeah, I'm excited for that because yeah, Chloe gets into everything these days. I'm just trying to kind of get down to her level and see all of the things that could poke her in the eye. 
and then I'm trying to either replace it or remove it. So these are the knobs um, to the Hemnes dresser. So you can kind of see how they kind of have a little bit of a sharp edge. So I'm gonna replace those. Okay, I don't think this is gonna be as easy as a project after all, because um, I think I might have to drill the hole in the drawer a little bit bigger so that it will fit the I don't even know what the anatomy of, of a door handle is, but just to fit the fixture a little bit better. I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, so I installed this one and you might be able to tell, but it actually protrudes quite a bit from the drawer. I thought it would be flush against um, the face of the drawer, but it protrudes out quite a bit. So. I was thinking that I would just drill the hole a little bit bigger so that this can slide in so that it will be more flush because I do not love the way this looks. I don't like that there's a gap here. I want this um, hardware to be flush as flush as possible against the leather and the handle or the leather and the, the face of the drawer if you know what I'm saying. Hopefully I'm making sense here. So this might be a weekend project after all. Um, they're just gonna generate a lot of dust and it's a little bit too close to Chloe's bedtime to start that kind of project right now. So I only did the bottom two, but I do like the look of it. I'm just, yeah, I want it to be more flush against the, the drawer.